Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you how to know when a man is long-term relationship ready. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com, a space where I share with ambitious and conscious and heart-centered women how you can attract the kind of man you want as a direct result of stepping into the most alive, feminine version of you, no need for gimmicks or manipulation of any kind. Now, when you connect with men, there's gonna be guys who don't want a relationship, there's gonna be guys who want a long-term, meaningful relationship, which if you want that, that's the kind of guy you want. There's gonna be guys who want a relationship to fill in the time, to not be alone, but that doesn't necessarily lead to long-term. So I'm gonna share with you seven clues that the guy that you are connecting with has the potential to go long term. Number one, he has a clean slate logistically. That means he is not married, right? Well, but he was separated and they hate each other and like they, like, no, he's still married. He's not logistically clean slate. It's not an available dude for you right now. Sorry for those uh, guys who are still working out their shit with their ex, get divorced and then start looking for someone and then start offering something. Because think about it, the guy's still married. You want marriage. How likely is it that in the maybe year that it's gonna take him to do it, now the first thing he wants to do is get married again? Very, very unlikely. But by the year that you've been with him, you're like, you're ready for it, right? So don't waste your time. Number two is a clean slate emotionally. What does that mean? He's not attached to an ex in a painful way. He's not attached to an ex in a way where he misses her and cries at night. Uh, the last relationship ended, not last week, but it's, give, it's been some time where he's been able to process it. He's been able to get a grip as to what has been his role in things not working versus stepping into the victimhood of like the world has done me wrong and I'm just a poor person uh, uh, who, who has suffered the wrath of other women. But like, So you want to make sure that the guy's emotionally intelligent to know that he's done his fair share to have relationships not work out and that he's stepping into it with hunger. He's emotionally hungry and alive for something. Third, incredibly important for you to actually gauge this one. He verbalizes, he can verbalize what the hell he wants. Why? Because if a guy doesn't even know in words what he wants, the likelihood of him actually hitting it is like the likelihood of you winning the freaking lottery. Can you win the lottery? Yeah. Will you win the lottery? Probably not. <laughs> okay. So uh, stop buying little tickets and start doing what you have to do to create the life that you want. The same thing is connecting with a guy who says, I want to connect with a woman who has the potential to go all the freaking way and get married. That's something that's verbally exciting. I want a woman that I can start a family with, or I don't want a family with, but he can verbalize it. So make sure that he has the words and the clarity of knowing what he wants. Now, if a guy is really serious, step number four is going to be a big clue for you. He's not just weighing it and waiting for you to ask him all the questions and saying yes or no, but he's going to ask you the right questions. Why is this? I'm going to say it straight to you, sister, because he doesn't want to waste his fucking time. If you're someone who wants something vastly different from what he wants, he's an intelligent guy. That's a good catch. He's not going to invest time and energy and money on taking you on dates so that one day you realize, oh, we're not a fit to be together. If you already want two different things, he's going to ask you, do you want children? He's going to ask you, do you want marriage? He's going he's gonna to ask you the right questions. What are, I mean, like t about your family, about other things, so that he knows if he has the basics to start investing time and energy with you instead of just throwing a dart into the darkness and hope that he hits the center <laughs> of that target, right? Number five, he's going to lead with intention or purpose. That means that he's not going to simply ask you uh, Friday night at 11.59, SUP question mark, what's up? No, he, Tuesday morning, he's gonna say, I'd love to see you this weekend. Are you free? Yes, can I take you out? So he's gonna plan in advance, more often than not. He's not gonna wait for you to initiate. Not, nothing wrong if you ever wanna do that, but he's not gonna wait for you to initiate to play the game of, uh, he's just gonna do it. He's gonna ask you out, he's gonna lead with intention, he's going to pursue you, and he's not gonna play games. If he's upset about something, he's gonna say it to you. He's not gonna be passive aggressive with you. If he's, I mean, he's gonna share what he thinks and what he wants, and he's going to lead with clarity of action, not just clarity of words. There's so many guys out there who lead with clarity of 
charisma, charismatic, the right words, babe, they're calling you babe the first time they see you and they it just they, they're going to treat you like you're the girlfriend, right, in words, but Friday night comes around, they haven't asked you out. Monday morning after they, maybe they saw you on Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they haven't reached back again to say, how are you doing? So you want to treat this as an action-driven thing that you can gauge with, with, uh, with something tangible. Number six, he's going to be a guy who plans for the future. So as things start moving forward, he's going to take time to plan future things for both of you that can cement and can increase the likelihood of you guys going forward, including maybe trips or something like that. Number seven, he's going to include you in his world with family and friends. It's not going to be the first thing he does. It's going to take time, but he's going to start including you and you're probably going to start including him with friends and family. He's not going to be, have a set, two separate lives, one with his family and friends and one with you. It's going to, in, it's going to start integrating in the myth uh, midway of you connecting with them so that you can gauge the compatibility between friends and family and you and him and you're going to see how he interacts with them. You're going to see the boundaries he sets with them. You're going to see how he steps up to support you and maybe even defend you when somebody's being a little bit of an asshole towards you <laughs> in that group, right? So you're going to gauge all of it, but primarily you're going to sense that the guy has a clear vision for what he wants and he's working specifically in actions to get it. If you find this is helpful, useful, insightful to you, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click thumbs up or like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, first line in the description of this video. If you want to take the learnings that you just stepped into right now much further, I created a free masterclass that will allow you to learn a lot more about how to implement what I just shared with you when it's absolutely free. Click on the first link in the description of this video, enter your name and email, and you'll be taken to that page where you can start watching that free masterclass right away. If you want my hand holding and help in the process of finding the one, then a second link in the description will allow you to apply to work with me. Hope this is, uh, you're having an amazing day, you're having an amazing week so far, and that you can live a conscious and fulfilling life.